Well, all right, he, ladies and gentlemen, that sober gamer is coming back at you with more Death Stranding. After that short break there, I went and restarted my computer, got rid of some background stuff, and uh, restarted my router and my modem. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I should be all right with the stream now. At least we shall see. I don't necessarily remember exactly what I was doing. But we're going to find out here in a second. What was I doing? What was, what, what's my current order? What do I got? I don't have anything. I don't have any orders right now. So in other words, let's get one. And I would like... I mean, I would like it if my stream would go up live on YouTube already. It's kind of hanging back there, but it's all right. We'll push forward. We're going to go and take on some orders for Sam. The next one is to the Elder and then the Craftsman. How heavy is this stuff? So to the Elder, it's only 1.5 kg. We can go ahead and accept that right now. We, we're going to we're going to take this one. Let's go ahead and listen to the brief. The client is a first gen prepper, old school. Been in and out of shelter since before the Death Stranding. Deliveries of his medication have fallen behind, though, and he's about to run out. There's just one case you need to bring, but there are multiple packs inside. Every dose counts, so you'd best handle it with care. While the client's life isn't in immediate danger, he's probably having a rough time. Don't keep him waiting, huh? Sure thing. Go and accept that guy. Alrighty, what do we have here now? Uh, I don't need more hematics. I don't really care for smoke. I don't know what smoke grenades really even do for you, honestly. Don't need more powder skeletons, none of that jazz. Ladder. I only have one. I'm going to make another ladder. Uh, PCC, let's make one of these bad boys. Another cargo repair. That should be good. That should be Gucci for this one. And just one second, y'all. My YouTube is just not coming up right now, so give me one second, y'all. I'm sorry. But it should have been brought online right now, and I don't know why it's not. So just una momento while I go onto my restream app and try to figure this out. I don't want to deny everyone of the YouTube. Yeah, I don't get it. Might just have to say sorry, YouTube, for the time being, because it's not doing anything. You go and turn it off, turn it back on. Maybe that'll help. But the Twitch and the old Facebook, you guys are going strong. I love you all for it. There we go. Now we're live on YouTube. There it is. Hey, hey, there it is. Cool, cool. So yeah, we have this order now. We're going to carry this stuff on my back. I'm going to load it all. Get some arrangement. I want to hit cancel on that. Oh, God, I have to hit, can hit confirm. I should have accepted the other one at the same time, but I totally forgot to. That's all right. I'm going to just accept the other one here as well. That's going to be this guy to the craftsman. I'll take it. Let's roll out, homie. All I need is your cargo. I don't need to make nothing. Nothing like that. So let's load it all. Arrange it. And let's head out, guys. Let's head over to the elder and to the craftsman. 
And if I'm not mistaken, it is actually the Craftsman where I get that Bola gun I was talking about. Like, I don't 100% remember, but I think. I think that's where I get it. Woo, 99 likes, baby. Other players are pleased with you. Yeah. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold up. Before I go too far, I must carry resources with me. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. I have to make these roads, you know. If I don't make these roads, then who's going to? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and claim some material. Oh, I wish I could see how much is needed at, like, this window for each thing to be made, but I totally can't. But let's make... Um... Uh... Yeah, all resources are definitely good. Let's make eight... Uh, no, 600 metals. We'll grab one of you. God, that's heavy. Another god. And we'll make some ceramics as well. 480 ceramics. I'll take you guys. God. Oh, I have to carry one by hand. I'm too heavy. That's all right. That is just fine. Because the place I can drop it off is literally, uh, you know, right there. Oh, chip the weight. You're okay, Sam. No, don't fall. Don't fall. You're good, bro. Oh my god, you're good. Dude, you're good. You're good. Man. Maybe hand carrying this isn't the greatest thing to do. There you go. Shift that weight, boy. It's all right. We're good. Just straight lines as best I can on my way. Straight lines. Just like in the olden days, back when I used to drink, before I got sober, straight lines. <laughs> For the love of God. <laughs> Don't drink, kids. It's bad for you. I'm gonna calmly turn him now. Wide turn. Uh, wide turn did, didn't matter. Didn't matter. Yeah, let's roll. Man, Sam has gotta be... I've said this before. Sam has gotta be so just jacked. Like, we're talking a 28-pack going on. No, don't look behind you. It's fine. Keep on keeping on. Hey, here's the sign I made that no one's liked yet. Oh, sad face. Oh, no one yelled back. It's all right. I don't require them to yell back, I guess. I'm going to the Elder and the Craftsman. So I want to go around, I think, this place here. But I know that if I head straight ahead... I don't know. Alright. We'll figure out a way to get to him. Which one I want to go to first. Oh, no, no. Shift weight. Shift weight. Oh, God. You're fine, Sam. That would definitely be wild, but it would be oh so much fun, wouldn't it? I'd do it. Norman Reedus is hot. I need more ceramics. All right. Uh, I need, yeah, I just need some more ceramics. <clears throat> and I'll have this road completed. 
You have contributed more materials that are required for this upgrade. Excess materials will be lost. Are you sure you want to proceed? I am sure. Oh, 800 likes. Ah, oh, I'll take it. God, look at 1350 to 800. Man, yeah. Yeah, buddy. I can run all freely now and stuff. Look at that. Right, so I need to find some ceramics so that I can finish up this place. Uh, that's metals I got destroyed. Destroyed metals. Way over there. That's just stuff to deliver to Lake Knot over there. This way. All right. So wh where's that's the craftsman? Yeah, it's a craftsman. We're gonna go over there first. We're gonna go deliver stuff to the craftsman and do his stuff. Cause like I said, I think he's the one that, that I get the bola gun from. So if I can go do his stuff, then I'll get my bola gun. And well, we need that gun. Rainbow, you need to go away, man. Nobody likes the rainbow, okay? In this world, rainbows are bad. <laughs> They're very bad. There we go. Rainbow, you go away. Get out of here. I say that as I run straight towards the rainbow. Ian, you make a lot of sense nowadays. So much. Let me give you some likes while I run by, bro. There you go. You got it. <laughs> Speaking of craftsmen, hot glue is hot. You're 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 not wrong. You're definitely correct with that. Oh god. Oh no! Mules! Run! Run this way! Whoever it was that placed this ladder way over here, yeah, he knows what's up. He did exactly what I'm doing. He he bypassing the mules altogether. I got you, peacemaker. Yeah, that, look at that ladder, too. Look at that. Bro, I'm gonna go ahead and give you all of the likes in a minute, once I can. Yeah, you're getting all the likes, man. A good day. This one's for you. Thanks for the help. Yeah. Homie's doing literally exactly what I'm doing. Going right around the mules. Straight towards the rainbow. <laughs> oh. The rainbow is not a place you want to be. That's fine, though. You know, that's fine. Yeah, it looks beautiful in this game. Everything about it. Oh, I'm heading straight towards him. That's what I'm talking about. Let's roll. So here in a bit, I'll actually get, uh, vehicles. I had the reverse trike at the beginning of the game. Here in a bit, I'll be able to get the reverse trike again. And that just makes the whole game so much nicer. It does. It makes it so good. Why is the rainbow that bad? Okay, um... Whenever you see a rainbow, it's always an inverted rainbow. I don't understand quite yet why the rainbow is inverted. I think it has something to do with reflecting the Too other world. Side. Like reflecting the, uh, the other side, as it were. Because in this game, people who die get stranded at a beach. Or the beach is what they call it. It's called being stranding because when you're stranded, it means you're alone. Can't get to where you need to go. And that's kind of a whole... Thing with this game is oh god here's the rain um so with being stranded on the other side there someone dies they get stranded on the beach they end up coming back to this world and they come back to this world in the form of bts bt stands for beached things and if you look at those black strands that go up and down those are always associated next to uh inverted rainbows that's because those strands are actually kind of connecting a BT, a dead person, 
from the other world into ours and they're linked to us. If you come across a BT, like I'm going to end up doing here soon, when you come across them, it, uh, they try to grab you. They try to pretty much take from you what you have, which is life. They, like, they want to come back. In doing so, however, they will eventually summon another type of BT, which is, a uh, monster. Always has, like, a monster theme to it. Uh, one of the first bosses that I fought, uh, in yesterday's episode was a big beached thing that the Higgs character summoned. Well, if you die by one of the beached things, they end up swallowing you, and it's the equivalent of antimatter coming to contact with real matter. It causes an annihilation event. Those annihilation events in this world are called void outs. They're basically giant explosions. Like, huge. Like, this was one right here. This was a void out right there. Uh, right up here, this big crater here, that was a void out. And they're everywhere. A void out was right there, void out right there. Every crater you see is a void out that happened when a BT ate a real-life human. So, an annihilation event happens, everyone dies, humanity goes to hell, the other side, the dead world is connected to the real world. This game is wild. And it always comes with an inverted rainbow. So, it always comes with inverted rainbows and rain. Now, rain is not good in this game. Rain is actually super bad. It has a very interesting effect. As a matter of fact, me being out here in this rain right now is not good. Like, I need to get out of it. The rain is called Timefall in this game. It's called Timefall because if the rain directly touches you, ab like, before it hits the ground, it will dramatically age quickly whatever it touches. So if you don't have any type of protective gear on and you're running through the rain, you'll end up aging and it'll kill you because it'll turn you into an older person and you'll literally die. So that's why all these things are associated with the rainbows, the rain, the BTs, they're all in the same area because they're all like very thin places connecting the other world and this world. I know what I just said made absolutely no sense, and I probably explained it very badly, but let's keep it real. This game is extremely confusing. It's awesome. It's great to learn about. Like, it's, it's a great story. But damn, is it confusing. And the whole point of the game is to reconnect America. Because obviously the world... Post-apocalyptic event, man. You have... You have dead people coming back and beach things, eating people causing annihilation, which is bigger than nukes, destroying everybody. So that's why everyone is so separated. So we're going over to the West Coast to try to connect everyone again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you definitely uh, understood it a little bit there. That makes me feel, feel pretty good that I was able to explain it at least a little bit. I would highly suggest, actually, going back and watching my first, uh, I would say at least two hours of gameplay in this. And this is for any, any anybody, not just, uh, Melissa. This is for anybody who's watching this. Go back and watch my first, like, two hours of gameplay. There's a lot of exposition and story in my first two hours. Or go watch another, uh, you uh, another YouTuber, watch them do it. Because you'll be able to understand it a whole lot better, you really will. Come on, make this ladder already! Oh wait, it's a road construction area, what? Did that really just happen? I just ruined my ladder. I can't use it again. Wait, can I? I don't remember being able to use ladders again after you deploy them. Ah. You there. Bridges wants you. Yes, they do. For real, though, the exposition that the game gives you at the beginning, like, first few hours, it's like you're watching a movie, but it does it very well. It was actually one of the big things that turned off a lot of people to the game, is there was too much storyline, exposition, not enough gameplay at the beginning. But believe me, they need... 
That explanation is needed at the beginning. Oh my god, is it ever. And right here, this container repair spray, I can repair my cargo containers from the damage that the timefall caused, because the timefall ages things. It ages everything, so not just people, but, you know, items and whatnot. And in heavy timefall areas, you'll see uh, plants on the ground. They'll literally sprout, age, bloom, and then die, and then do it all over again in timefall areas. It's really cool. Yeah, storyline definitely makes the game, that's for sure. What's cool is out here in this area, all these preppers that we're going to go meet and whatnot, they're alone by themselves because they know that if they're with anyone, they cause a risk of killing them. Because when you die, you end up uh, doing what's called like necrotizing, I think they called it at the beginning of the game. And what necrotizing does is, well, you're dying, your soul is leaving your body, but it has nowhere to go because it can't pass over. So therefore, you become a BT. And you becoming a BT, you don't really care about other people. I mean, you, you can't, because you're dead. So you'll end up eating your friends, your family. Oh god, I don't want to go that way. And then that'll cause a void out, and it'll destroy everything and everyone around you, so... A lot of people live alone. But the biggest thing in this game is bringing people back together, bringing America back together. Making America what it once was before the Death Stranding happened. And yeah, that's the event that the whole story calls it, is the Death Stranding is the event that caused everything, so... But I still don't know what the Death Stranding is. I haven't played enough into the game on the PS4 to actually know what the Death Stranding actually is, how it occurred, what went down, yeah. And then also, let me go and show you this. Check on BB. Yeah, right here. Let's go and soothe the BB. Yeah, I'll bet you're real confused now. Where does BB come from? They're actually called BBs. Uh, I think that means uh, beach babies or something like that. I'm not sure. But they're actually pulled out of a still mother. Their mothers are, like, in a comatose state back somewhere. And they're put in these pods, and because they're newborns, they're kind of a link between the other world and this world. So when you have them on and plugged into you, you can sense and see where the BTs are. It's really weird. But there's also people out there who have, like, supernatural abilities. So they don't necessarily need BBs to be able to see the see at, at everything. Now, Sam, this character, he is someone with dooms. That's what the powers are called, dooms. And, uh... People with dooms have powers, and his level, uh, your main character, can sense them. Can sense BTs around you, wherever they're at. That's how he, like, survives so well, is because he can sense where they're at and avoid them. But he's also what's called a repatriate. Meaning, when he dies, he goes to the other world, the other side, but he can come back. He ends up uh, coming back and basically being reborn again. It's it, it's wild. It's all explained and showed at the beginning of the game, but it, it's it's wild. Sam, Sam, he's our man. Sam, Sam, baby. All righty. I got stuff for you. Let's make a delivery. Deliver the gun parts Deliver and anti BT weapons. You're not with Fragile Express, are you? Oh, I get it. Bridget is using their IDs to complete the delivery. Well, good work, son. I'll take that off your hands. Thank you. Package looks... Brand new. Wow. Been a while since I've seen cargo in such good shape. Thank you. Thank you kindly. I know it couldn't have been easy. Nice.
Give me them likes, baby. Give me that connection level, baby. Let's go. Wow, really? It didn't even give me one star? Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess that's all right. What's your angle anyway? Everyone knows Fragile was behind the attack that wiped out Middlemont City. Only a damn fool trusts that terrorist to deliver shit now. But here you are, filling in. Keeping her business alive for her, am I right? <laughs> I swear. Can't trust anyone these days. And don't try sweet-talking me onto your little network. You know why there's been so many terrorist attacks recently? Because you all piss them off with your talk of reuniting the country. Join the ECA. I may as well paint a bullseye on my shelter. Just keep my deliveries coming. We'll get along just fine. I don't need any trouble. Though I will say, I appreciate these hematic grenades of yours. Quality work, gotta admit. Not the sort of equipment the UCA ought to keep to itself. There's a lot of freelance porters operating in these parts, after all. If I could churn these out by the boatload and gear up those folks, now you're good people. I can see that. And you brought my order like I asked. But it'll take more than that for me to agree to what you're asking. Chiral Network is a big step. But if you could prove to me Bridges is an organization I can trust, hmm. Well, how about this? Do another run for me. I'll put the details on the terminal there. Good work. Man. New available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. You believe that guy? Yeah, I have to take on his order. Let's go do it. Orders for me. Oh, God. This. Oh, no. Oh god, okay. Recovery toolbox. Yeah. Let's listen to the briefing. Not far from Middle Knot City, you'll find the ruins of an old shopping mall. They predate the Death Stranding. The craftsmen used to live there. Until terrorists organized a void out or two and BTs started showing up. Needless to say, the craftsmen had to move house in a hurry. Grabbed what little he could and left most everything else behind. Which is where you come in. He wants you to go and get his old toolkit and bring it back to the shelter. His old home's locked up tight, but he'll open it remotely for you when you set out. Place is crawling with BTs, though. No one in their right mind would even try to pull this off. But if you can, then the old man might finally realize Bridges is only trying to help. Okay, then you're about to get a first person view at what the BTs are and the scary part of this game. Oh Man, yeah, 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 we'll 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 accept your order, bro The toolkit you're looking for ought to be in my old shelter. It's been tagged so shouldn't have any trouble finding the place I'll unlock it remotely once you get there. Oh and Take some of those hematic grenades you brought with you Nothing you'll want more when those BTs put your back against the wall, right? Here's hoping it won't come to that. Yeah, thanks. By the way, the hematic grenades, they're called hematic grenades because it uses Sam's blood as a weapon against the BTs because his blood is powerful against BTs for some reason. I'm not quite too sure why. Why his blood causes such an effect on them. But it definitely has something big to do with the story. And I just haven't found out yet. So we're gonna go ahead and go do that. Hmm. What cargo am I carrying right now, though? Um, like stuff like this, like the resin. Yeah. I don't have anything else, really, do I? Oh, up here, metals. The metals and that resin. I'm going to drop them, offload them. I don't need them to come with me up there and like bogging me down there we go 
Okay. Oh, boy. Hey, there's a lot of people liking my stuff. That's cool. So right there is where I'm going. Right smack dab in the middle of where that city used to be. A city called Middle Knot City. Well, a nuke was detonated by terrorists up here. That's why they were talking about Fragile Express and the terrorists and whatnot. That's because they dropped a nuke in there, causing everyone to die, therefore causing a butt-ton of BTs. I have to go in there. I'm not excited for this. I'm going to be using all of my hematic grenades, and you'll get to see exactly the scary part of this game. Oh, man. I know, Sam. Jeez. Facts, man. Speak the truth. I remember when I first did this on the PS4. I was so scared. Because when you get discovered by the BTs, they find you and they come after you. It is intimidatingly scary. <laughs> but go back and watch my episode 11, I think it is. Like a fully fledged monster BT comes out attacking me. And I freak out, and I end up killing it. But it scared me. Because it was a big boy. It was a big whale with, like, tentacles and whatnot. It was, it was scary. Hopefully we won't cause any of that here. Because I think this place would be so terrifying if that were to happen. So, yeah, wherever there's a lot of dead, you can be sure to find BTs. And they're in here. Oh, man, there it is. So whenever you get in the area and that happens, it means you're not only in timefall, but you're about to come into BT territory. Oh, God. Here we go. Here it is. Oh, hey, yeah, let's see the ground. See how the timefall makes the plants? Yeah, that's cool. All right. I need to explain this to you. Do you see the blink here right there the little light that's blinking that is actually attached to the bb and this is where the bb helps you out is he knows exactly where all the bts are he knows where they're at so because he knows where they're at he points that thing in the direction of where they are so i can then yeah see right there he just looked that direction i can scan it and i can see where i'm going i can see where they're at so I'm gonna go and pick up that memory chip. That's nice. I'll take that. And by the way, you can hold your breath like that, because if you get close... Oh, jeez. If you get close to them, like I am now, they react to sound and breathing and whatnot, so... If you can get away from them, which normally you can, you want to hold your breath whenever they're nearby, or else they'll detect you. Where is it? Here we go. I gotta drink my monster energy drink right now. I don't have much stamina. There we go. I got some stamina back. Oh, man. Yep, yep, yep. Where is it at? Where is he? There he is. There's one right there. I'm gonna flop over to that way. All right, so that was a BT right there. You throw your grenade at it, and he goes away. Back up the strand. But when there's a lot of them around, it is scary. And there's a lot of them here. Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. There's one. There's two. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Where's he at? 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 And you do run out of these grenades, by the way. Okay. It's like I know what's happening in this area, and I'm just terrified of it. Oh god, you can hear him walking. We good, we good, we good. 
We good. We good. Oh, man. Okay, he's not there anymore. <laughs> yeah. There's another one over there. Where's he at? Oh, there's two of them there. How you doing, boys? I'm just going to go this way. Or no, I'm not. I'm going to drop everything. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cause all the noises. There we go. Okay. Where's he at? Where are you at? Right there, I see. Well, then. All right, so I'm out of climatic grenades on that pack. So I have some more here. And on this difficulty setting, one grenade won't always win. Oftentimes, you'll need more than one for a BT. That's scary, too. Okay. Okay. I don't like you. Oh, crap. Okay. 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 Oh, there's another one down there. Alright, I need another pack. I only have three in this pack. But I'm taking them out pretty well. Alright, so I have to get into there. That's where the toolbox is, it seems. Where am I right now? Where even am I? Oh, I can't, I can't fit through that. I have to go down this way. I've made a huge mistake. I might be able to make it down here. Oh God, stop it, stop. Stop, stop breathing. They probably heard that bad, bad news there. Oh, that's a strong one. That's strong, boy. Oh, no, it's not. He's dying. Okay, good. We can go now. We good. Nothing to see here, folks. By the way, the little hands on the ground that I'm picking up, they're called Kyrillium Crystals. And Kyrillium is an element that was discovered after the Death Stranding happened, and it plays an important role in the game. I'm still not entirely sure what it is. Private locker, baby. Man, he has a lot of stuff in here, but I can't- I don't want any of it. I don't want none of that. I want his toolbox, right here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Where is he? I almost got found out right there. He all- I can't believe he didn't just get me. Whenever you see the ground like that with the tar-like substance coming up, that means they're, like, right on you. I can't believe I made it out of that. I don't even know where he- what? What? Get out of here. Oh my god. Yeah, you see these hands right here? That's where they were walking at. That's what that is. That was such a close one. That was ridiculous. Oh my god, I can't believe they didn't get me. I thought you were going to see them dragging me around and stuff, because that's kind of what they do. They drag you around. They're very rude. So now that I'm under this here, I'm going to go ahead and take the opportunity to uh, repair my stuff. Because it's pretty damaged from the time fall. Oh boy. Okay. 
There we go. I'm just gonna use all of this. There it is. Ooh. Creepy is an understatement. Like, creepy is an understatement there. Like, it is creepy as heck. Alrighty, let's roll. Oh, I need to turn around. There we go. But I want to head this direction. I want to know if I can go climb over, like, the wall. Because I think I have a ladder on me. Do I have a ladder on me? I don't have a ladder on me. Crap. I was going to go try to climb over the wall up there. Is there a ladder lying around anywhere? Oh, there's not. Alright, I'm going to have to go back through the way I came in. I was wanting to avoid that, but whatever, it's fine. I should be good. Slow and steady wins the race. And I don't care how good you think you are. These BTs, they, are, they scare the crap out of you every time. Like, I know pretty well how to get around them, as you can see. But Jesus, when they, like, kind of see you... You're done. Okay. There's always some around here. Where are they at? Oh. Look in this direction now. And I am going to grab these lost cargos here for the engineer. Because I'm going straight back to the engineer and I want to get on his good side as best I can. Way up there, eh? Gotcha! Good. Alright. I think they almost got me back at that thing there because when I got off of the... Uh, Whoa, whoa, where's that coming from? Okay, yeah. When I got off of the terminal, it stood me up, so therefore I was making running noises, so they knew where I was. I think that was definitely a reason they knew exactly where I was at, because it stood me up during that. Alrighty then, we almost there. We almost out, fam. We almost out. I'm gonna go ahead and take the opportunity here to do some more repair and work. Just like that. Yeah, buddy. Okay, I need my grenades equipped. And I'm running from here. I don't care. We're getting out of this bitch. We run in. We run in. I should be home free. By the way, you can change where the camera's at so you can see the BB. Ah, there it is. The baby looks happy and he was clapping for me. Did you see that? Sometimes he'll make his little hand there do like a clap on it or he'll make it make it give you a thumbs up and it's just oh god so dang cute whenever he does it by the way a big thing about the bb is at the beginning of the game when you're talking to dead man for the first time he says the bbs are just tools all they are is equipment which technically that is what they were made for however good guy norman reedus doesn't feel that way good guy norman reedus refuses to you know Destroy the BB because he was ordered to kill the BB actually and Norman Reedus was like no Not doing it fam So he has a really good connection with his BB Oh god, oh god, oh god, there we go. Okay, there we good. Oh man oh, 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 shift weight as you can see when you get higher more items up more weight you have to shift yourself back or forth. Almost there. You see, what I think it is, is every time you go to your private quarters and come back up, you see that cutscene with Mads? 
and you're under the perspective of a BB. Well, it was explained at the beginning of the game that when a person with dooms like Sam interact with a BB, their minds and memories could get mixed together. So I believe that you are seeing... Uh, the, he is seeing the memories and whatnot of BB before he came into his, you know, possession. So I think Mads is the father of the BB Sam is carrying. I think. Not positive, but I think. Delivering cargo. What? Are you kidding me? I got it, bro. You actually went into that hell hole. Oh, you don't know what this means to me. A whole lot of memories in these old tools. The kind of stuff you can't replace with a chiral printer. I was giving you an impossible mission. Oh, yes. Now we're talking. Whether you see the weapons I make with these. Sam Bridges, you are incredible. Thank you. But yeah, uh, it definitely does make sense. Like, I want to get further into the story, past beyond where I stopped on the PS4, so I can see. So I can see where the story goes, because I really want to know what happens. Come on, give me that star, baby. Yeah, yeah! Almost three! By the way, fam, in my off time, whenever I'm not, like, streaming or recording this game, I will be going back through and getting five stars on all the places. Which means, uh, you know, I just run deliveries, basically. Fair. Fragile and her crew never did me wrong. Could say I owe them, even. If they're running with Higgs now, and that makes them as bad as him, don't it? It's as if all the motherfucking terrorists are coming together like one big, happy family. <laughs> Might be time for us to do the same. Maybe there's hope for us after all. <laughs> At least if there's more folks like you in the UCA. Safety in numbers, huh? And the new America to boot. New America. Connect me to the chiral network. I love this cutscene. Got me another one. That's what's up. Craftsman has joined the UCA. Bola gun. I thought it was him. I wasn't sure about. Yep. Ah. The mules. The mules are dead now. I say dead, but they're not really dead. Terrorists posing as fragile express couriers. Ooh, look at all that the people made. Yeah, I thought so. Look up at the crater. There's ladders and whatnot around that. Okay, so I could have easily done that if I had a ladder. By the way, if you see the little red thing there with, like, the ghost, obviously that's indicating that there's BTs in that area. Uh, yeah, we connected. Oh, you're looking good, bro. Right. Now that you're looking out for me, it's only fair that I look out for you. So, as long as you keep me connected, I'll keep on supplying you with my best tools. And together we all might live a little longer. Oh, by the way, check out this beauty I made. It's called a bola gun. Should keep anyone from giving you trouble for a minute. Oh yeah. It's non-lethal, of course. I can't promise it won't leave marks, but that's on that. If you think you could use it, take it. Well, I'm gonna use the crap out of it, bro. A bola gun, huh? That could come in handy. As is, you can use it to restrain human targets without killing them. But swap out those wires with strands spun from your blood, and it might even work on BTs. Go ahead. Give it a whirl. I've never used this against a BT. I've never even tried. 
So, cargo shelf, I'll take the Bola gun, please. Yes, buddy, I will. I'll take the hematic grenades. Eh, yeah, I don't really need the boots. That's fine. Huh. You've done your bit. Time for me to do mine. Good awesome. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Deliver materials to the auto paver. Yeah, see, other players who are playing right right now are like delivering to the auto pavers that I did to try to get that thing fixed. Ah, oh, I love that. I, I love that mechanic. But I'm gonna go ahead and swap over to. Uh, no, I don't. I don't want to pee on things. I mean, I do, but I'm not going to right now. I'm gonna swap over to Bridges boots. Replace my boots. There we go. There it is. I don't need to fabricate anything because I've already gotten it. But I want to make a delivery. Shared memory data chip. Let's go see what this one is. You picked this up for me? You shouldn't have. Really. By the way, that dude's name is uh, Die Hard Man. That's his actual name, Die Hard Man. New interview data acquired journal one, two, three, and four. Okay, I will be reading those. I do believe the journal entries are actually pretty important. But I need to recycle a bunch of these hematic grenade parts and whatnot because, well, I used them. They're empty. Get out of here. I'm gonna get rid of the smoke grenade too. I don't really think the smoke grenade is gonna do anything. Or the smoke emitting decoy cargo. I don't want that either. It's just, that seems like a waste. Uh, used blood bags. Yeah, we get rid of you guys. Bridges boots. What's the one that's mostly damaged? It's that one. Alright, I wanna get rid of you. Good stuff. So, I'm gonna get rid of that. Recycle it. <laughs> Too many Die Hard movies, maybe. Wouldn't surprise me. Delivering cargo. Thank you for your continued support. By the way, that old lady's face that you see there, unless you've watched the uh, intro to the game, you'll find out she's the president. President of the uh, United States. I won't say any more than that. Uh, don't want to take standard... No, uh, lost cargo. That's what I wanted to do. Lost cargo. Uh, you and you. I want to... Deliver. Lost cargo here as well. Oh, that's to the engineer. Engineer and engineer. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I don't want to do that here. I want to do that at the engineer. Like, you can return stuff that you find on the ground pretty much anywhere you go and you'll get a little bit of likes. But if you deliver it to the place that it was originally supposed to go, you get double those likes. So, I'm going to keep those. Oh yeah, right here I can take it straight back to the engineer, which is where I want to go. Awesome. I'm going to accept you... And probably you as well. Food rations up to Lake Knot. Yeah, we'll do that one too. That'll be nice. And if you ever think you're carrying too much or you don't have enough, the weights over here on the side, you can compare that to how much you're using. Believe me, it's needed. Especially later on in the game. Accept it, baby. Let's do it. Uh, I don't need a bola gun right now. I already have one. Yeah, I already have one. Let's go ahead and just confirm that. Load it all on the back. Let's roll. Yeah. Thank you for your contribution. However, do I have any repair? I do right here. Good, good, good. Need it. These containers are highly damaged. Good stuff.
job, Sam. That's two prepper way stations integrated into the Cairo network. Just one more left. And that last one left, if I'm not mistaken, is the Elder. So yeah, we're gonna head over there in a minute, but I'm first going to the Engineer. Oh my god, keep your balance, bro. God. So that's the mule's hut right over there. So that tells me the engineer is right over this way. I mean, I could always just look. What's that? Oh, that's the elder. That's the engineer. Oh, should I go here first then? How far away is that? 937 meters. 700 meters. Let's go to the elder first, I guess. I'm not I'm not carrying too terribly much, so I should be fine. Maybe. I don't know. Let me go ahead and uh Argo. I can't rearrange it. Yeah, alright. I've already used you, so I'm gonna destroy you. I'm gonna offload you. I don't need it. I don't need that anymore. But what I do need to do is take a pee. Because this is in the game for whatever reason. Yep. It's a thing. And the BB thinks it's hilarious. And there's always mushrooms that grow wherever you go pee. It's weird, but it's a thing. I uh, just acquired the cryptobiotes, so I'm gonna go... Wait, what button is it? Three. I'm gonna go eat one. I don't need to? I don't need to. But what I do need to do is go use the bathroom myself so i will be right back fam hold on one second All right, I'm back. Let us continue. Oh, wait, in one second. I'm out of Mountain Dew. I must get another one. <laughs> All right, we are back. When you need your daily dose of Mountain Dew, you need your daily dose of Mountain Dew. Okay. Oh, it's so delicious. So delicious. Alrighty. Someone is texting me. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Let's roll. To the Elder. It was over there in that direction. Right over there. 
We got us some mules right over there. Oh god, no, 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 get up. Come on now, Sam. Can't be doing that, my guy. So which way? Oh, there's a bridge. Yeah, buddy. Hey, Elder's right up there. Let's go take the bridge. Oh, would you look at that? These boyos have, uh... Have roads. I don't want to dismantle it, I want to help. Yeah, these guys have trucks. They have... They have trucks. Oh, man. Yeah, oh, that sees me all right. Yep, 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 I know. You all see me. Can I cross right here? I can. Good. Let's go. Crossing right here, baby. There we are. Where are they at, more importantly? Because they saw me. Way over there. We're going to go ahead and go right on around them. Even though I got the bola gun, I would still rather avoid them at all costs. Nope. Stop that honking. Oh, God. They see me. They know where I am. All right, I need my bola gun out. Yeah, buddy. I have 14 bolas I can use. Oh, hey, guys. Gotcha. Gotcha. Look at how much easier that is, man. Then I can come over here and I can kick them and knock them out. Get out of here. And yeah, you, you, you want to kick them and knock them out. Where's the other one? Oh, I, they all got knocked out. Look at that. Okay. What's going on, my guy? Ha ha! Get out of here. Oh, he actually got knocked out. Like, knocked out, knocked out. Are you going to get out of your little car there? So I can knock you out? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I didn't get him. That did. Ha <laughs> ha! Get out of here, nerd. Oh, crap. I'm almost... I completely just noticed my stamina is just bad. There it is. Good. Can I take their vehicle? I would love to take their vehicle. Oh, bro. Oh, yeah. We have a vehicle. If only I could really remember how to use them properly. I know this vehicle again, uh, it's not you, is it? No. Echo, maybe? No. F? F takes me out. I did not want to get out. Oh, it absolutely does. It so saves on the stamina. 
But what? There's a button I can hit that will extend it. Alright, I, I need to look up this button really quick. Uh, key assignments. Not a vehicle, let's see. Uh... Handbrake. C, that can't be it. Speed boost. Huh. Maybe I can't do it yet, because I, like, I just stole their vehicle. Maybe when I get my own vehicle later on down the line, I'll be able to. Where's, where's he at? Oh, there he is. I don't know really which way to go. Oh, come on. It's very wonky controlling these vehicles sometimes. Straight up. There we go. There it is. Ow, there we go. Oh, no, no, stop, 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 stop. What can't you do? <laughs> go around this way. You have to finesse them. You have to... You have to treat them to a nice seafood dinner before you can, you know, have fun with them. You must be nice to the vehicles. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you okay? Uh, I don't know which way to go. Make it up here. And I don't think I have a ladder with me. I may not need one. I may not need one. I should be able to do this right here. Because the elder has to be the elder and live on top of a freaking mountain. I mean, it's not a mountain, really, but, you know, it's annoying that he lives up here. There we go. This even the right way? It must be. And on the vehicle thing, I'm not going to really use vehicles until the uh, road has been paved a little bit better, you know? Because running those vehicles out in the wild is very rough. <laughs> Elder! Hey, big guy! How you doing? All of my weapons will be locked, he says. All right, let's go chat with the Elder, huh? Give him his delivery. And this will be the third place. The third place that Die Hard Man wants me to connect. Let's do it. Delivering cargo. I've been expecting you. You are my lifeline. I've only managed to get this far thanks to porters. And you don't ask for anything in return. You have my gratitude. Let's see how's the package. Oh, it'll be perfect, bro. Wow, this is great. Excellent job, thank you. I got your back, fam. Give me that star, baby. God. I traveled 4,700 meters to do that for you. You bet. Give me that star. Oh, yeah. Cool. I am an elite mover. Fragile Express. Please tell me you put the terrorists behind you. 
When Fragile, the daughter of the founder, started associating with other couriers, things started getting scary around here. Rumors say that she caused the explosion at Middle Knot City, and there's a part of me that believes it. Of course, she could be just another one of their victims. Are you connecting the Cairo network? I don't mind a contract with Bridges, but I'm not going to join the UCA. Go ahead if you're fine with that. I just want to join, bud. Maybe you already heard it from Fragile, but preppers who don't want to be a part of the UCA can still sign a contract with Bridges to join the network. They get to use our delivery services and other basic Cairo network infrastructure, much like our full members. Similarly, you'll be able to use their Cairo printing facilities to replenish your supplies. They are not, however, obligated to exchange data with us. So don't expect them to share intel or help with the development of new tech. In an ideal world, everyone would be a part of the UCA, of course. But failing that, we want everyone to at least be a part of the network. They can always change their minds after the fact. The Cupid will interface differently with the terminal depending on the type of contract. So connect your Cupid to confirm. You got it, my guy. We got more, baby. Elder has entered a contract. He is one ugly person. Look at all that stuff. The company just got too big. In times like these, we should all keep it close and tight. That goes for couriers, too. Otherwise, we'll just make the same mistakes. Republics, federations, coalitions, states, connecting all kinds of people together. It's just asking for trouble. I'm sorry. It's been a while since I last talked to anyone. Travel safe. See you around, then. Yeah. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Well, okay then. What can I... Let's go recycle. I have something to recycle, don't I? Oh, I thought I did. I guess not. Uh, we could... You, but I won't get the full... Yeah, not doing you yet. You're for the engineer. What order can I get for you? So I want up here to the engineer. Wait, wait, let's go here. To the engineer, that's back to the craftsman. And then that is back up to Lake Knot. So these two are super light, so I'm gonna accept those. This one. Yeah, I'm pretty much still gonna accept this one too, because I'm heading up to Lake Knot. Yeah. We'll accept all three of them. Load everything on the back and let's go ahead and uh, do that. Let's roll. Order assigned. Good stuff. Let's head out. Oh god, don't fall over. Excellent work, Sam. You've brought three way stations into the fold. The preppers are on the grid and the Cairo network is looking better than ever. We're planning to use a regional distro center as our next way station. But that'll have to wait. Got a priority task here. A mess in need of cleaning up. We need you to recover one of Lake Knot City's system servers. They sent it out for repairs and mules hit the transport on the way back. The server contains validation data for a new delivery system we're deploying. 
Once in place, it will use the Cairo network to automate deliveries. To us, it's invaluable. To the mules, it may as well be a toaster. A toaster they'll happily tear apart for the Cairo crystals and rare earth metals inside. If we don't act quickly, we could lose that data. So get your ass to the mule's drop site, snatch the server, and bring it back to Lake Knot City. I'm putting the order in myself. Check your cufflinks for details. Okay then. We'll have a look. Oh, I didn't that look at you. Orders right there. Orders for Sam. All right, cool. So I gotta go over there and then up top. Got it. I can do that. I could probably even do it on my way up there right now or on my way to the uh, old engineer duder. I must get rid of the exclamation points. They deserve to go away. Ah, the new one's down here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got the uh, journals. The secret confessions of a certain someone. Access the interviews menu to learn more. Sure. But first up to tips. Let's get rid of these here tips. I don't like them. There's an awfully lot of them. I have to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. No. Oh. I had to sneeze again. This is unfair. I don't care about interviews right now. I'll check that out in a minute. Or a little bit later. Mail. Let's go with the mail. <laughs> I'm good. I promise. Alright. Lake Knot City. Got to go the extra mile. Oh, I am so not reading you. He's not on stream. Way too long. All about preppers from William Lake. There should be some interviews floating around to the record team transcribe. Take a look if you get a chance. Yeah, I'll do that in a minute. Like, later. Not reading you. Well, let's go ahead and head down here then. That's where I got to go. So in other words, we're going to plop you there. And... Uh, and we're going to go here to you. And then I'll pay out to you. That's what's up. Let's roll. But which direction is... That's the craftsman, so it's got to be over... There? Craftsman... What is this one? Okay... Is it this one? No, it's C. A. I need to go to A. Which is indeed right there. Okay. This way. I wonder if there's a... Rope over here or something that I can use to crawl down with. Or, you know, rappel down with. There's gotta be. Someone has got to have put a rope down here. I see ladders. But I need that rope, fam. Oh, slow down, Sam. Slow it down. This is one area you don't want to fall, Sam. Has nobody have a rope here? Man. I gotta do everything myself, chat. Everything myself. Let's roll. I've never ran out of stamina climbing down these things. I'm sure it's possible. I've never done it. All right, there we go. Elegant pen to the elder. Now, elder is not going to have his pen because I'm not doing that. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, you're fine. You're good. Oh, here's a rope. Someone did have a rope, but it just wasn't all the way up. So... I wonder if those mules are still, uh, you know, 
unconscious and I can just like head into their camp. Where is their camp? Oh, it's right here. It's right in front of my face. That's where it's at, guys. All right. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. Well, I saw one of them over there. Yeah, he's right there. We're just gonna wait for him. Another one over there. Go ahead and equip my bola gun. Come on, bro. Come get me. Oh, there they are. There's all of them. Stop throwing stuff at me. Not nice. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Where are you guys at? Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, my. Oh, geez. I thought I had that equipped. I did it. Come on now. We're doing all right. Doing all right. Gotta kick him. Gotta knock him out. All right, there we go. So now I need to drink some of you. I'm out of bola air, uh, not arrows, out of bola stuff. That's not good. So I'm gonna have to swap to my hematics, it looks like. Yeah. But I think I got them all, didn't I? Kinda looks like I got them all. What was that? Did I lose something? What is that? Oh, that's my empty bola gun, okay. Oh my god, there's more of them. Get out of here! I right, here's some more. Here's some more. I love doing that. It's all right. It's all right. We doing good. Hit them with their own. Uh, get out of here. I approve of this carnage. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, rest. Sam, rest. I wasn't paying attention. Oh God, I'm so glad there's no more mules around because they would have had me right there. Go, go, go massage yourself there, Sam. You deserve it. Woo wee. You have to pay attention to your stamina in this. They almost had me. All right. All right, Sam, get up. Get up. Or, you know, don't. Don't get up. Come on, Sam, get up. Stop with your leg. You're fine. You're right, fine. Time to go. You have monster energy okay. drink, fam, okay? <laughs> oh, 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 no, okay, oh. Oh, come on, Sam. Get up. There you go. I can't drink the- oh, is that why? Yeah, that, that, that was why. I should be able to now. Drink the monster, Sam! 
Oh my god. Come on, bro. Get up. Get up, my guy. You're fine. Please drink. <sighs> Come on. Hold on. Oh, come on, get out of that. Oh, my word. God. I know I work you to the bone, but you can at least handle walking a few feet. Sam is dumb. Okay, uh, we're going to go and take the fuel here. Uh, we're going to select that. Select you and you. And we're going to offload you real quick. Just to get rid of that weight. So I can, uh... Possibly get back... Some stamina. I don't understand. Why is he not... Ugh. Fine, you can... You can rest for a moment. Okay? Just a minute. I don't know why I couldn't drink any of the monster. That doesn't make any sense. I should have been able to drink that stuff. All right. Fall asleep for a quick minute. And believe me, it gonna be a quick minute, bruh. This is definitely one of those parts in the game where it's like, okay, well, he is not an immortal. He does not have plot armor. Yep. Alrighty then. How's he doing? He's, he's getting his stamina up. Wake up, Sam. Get up. You have all this cargo you need to deliver. Come on, bruh. Get up. Oh my God. Don't you dare tell me that. Oh, that's why I can't drink it. I'm all out. Duh. Why didn't I think of that before? Of course that's not why I can do anything with it. Of course. Pick it all up. Pick it up. Yeah, I don't care, Sam. I mean, I do care about it being actually optimized on yourself there. There you go. I don't care about anything else you have to say, Sam. Oh, my word. There's going to be a long... going to be a long moment, you guys. Oh, a road I rebuilt was used by someone else. Y'all see that? Yeah. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna open the cargo menu, and we're gonna put a bunch of this stuff, especially the more heavy stuff, in the back of the truck. Yep. Uh, load onto vehicle. Confirm that, baby. And we're gonna take the road here in a minute. Oh my god, Sam killing me. I still have things to do in this camp. You're killing me. There's a bowl of gun over there. Is that a memory chip too? It looks like a memory chip is over here too. Let's go grab these. Bowl of gun absolutely need you. Where's that memory chip at? Over here? Yeah, there it is. Oh, memory chip. I need you. Where you at? Right there? Gotcha. Pick up, baby. There I don't go. need any of that other stuff. Where's the item at that I have to recover? It's not over there, I don't feel. Where is it? Let's look. Oh, it's gotta be right here. It's gotta be right here.
All right, what do we got in here? Yeah, system server. That's the one. I'll take you. And nothing else because Sam is a wimp right now and can't carry much. Awesome, got it. Let's go hop in the vehicle, ride over to the engineer, turn that in, and then we're going to ride up to the place up north. And hopefully not get annihilated by, you know, mules. But I have a newly refreshed bola gun. So we should be alright. Where is he? He's right there. Alright, gotcha, son. Only downfall to the trucks is you can't tell or see, really, like, where there's cliffs at. And I've definitely, on the PS4, have rolled off of cliffs before because I definitely didn't know where they were. It was a ride. <laughs> I don't want to do that in this one. I'm going into it prepared, not going to roll off any cliffs. As he casually rolls off a cliff. It's coming. driving it oh man off road and like a champ uh, and we're just gonna, we're gonna go Leroy Jenkins that yeah gotcha oh no oh no oh no there we go Ooh, uh, stuff. hey engineer how you doing no that way there we go and if it's the same as the ps4 version you can deliver stuff that is still in the truck. But you have to uh, get up close to the door. Not as bad as driving off a cliff in Halo. Yeah, that's true. That, that's absolutely true. Uh, requested cargo. Deliver it, baby. Highly prized, prized vintage wine. I don't approve. Oh, hey. Good to see you. Well, the cargo's in great condition. All right, give me that third star, baby. Very nice. Third star, baby. Let's go. Wow, really? That's it? Man. Can you believe this guy? 42? That's not going to give me a third star. Oh! I got the third star. Power Skeleton 2. Let's go. Let's go. Give me all of the things. Oh, bro, four stars. What is happening? New interview data acquired fragile's umbrella and suit. That'll be a good read. Wow, I almost have five stars on this guy. Look at that. How well is my Porter ranking going now? There they are. That's what I wanted. Cool. Done. Well, be safe out there. I will. Thank you, bruh. Access delivery terminal for further information. You got it. Let's go have a look. First things first, recycling. I have nothing to really recycle. Okay, fair enough. Fabricate equipment. We're making one of these level threes, baby. But which one do I want? 
get the gold one. Wait, that's only level two. Gold right here. Power. Wait, is this level three? Is that one level three? God, I don't know. Yeah, level three. Good. I'll take it. Good stuff. Uh, can I just equip? Quick. Equip you. Ah, yes. Shared memory chip data. What are you giving me this time? Hey, mama. Thank you kindly, Sam. I'll treasure it. Good old mama. Honda NSR 250R. Thank you for your contribution. Oh man, deliver materials to an auto paver near Elder? Oh, they're delivering. Hmm. I'm digging it. So let's go see what that data point was. Memory chip. Which one was it? Where's it at? Right here. Oh man, look at that. I'm not reading it, but damn, that's nice. Tips. You must get rid of L explanation points. They must go away. Go away. That's probably all of them. And mail. What mail stuff do we got? Engineer and the craftsman. Okay. Uh, engineer. What's your stuff? Oh, this is very short. Hey, Sam. I feel like I finally understand why they call you Great Deliverer. After all, you're the one who dealt with the mules who were blocking the route between my shelter and Lake Knot City, right? I mean, you must have been... No one else could have, man could have managed that, especially all by themselves. I feel a bit pathetic. Just cheering you on from the sidelines? But I guess that's all I can do. Good luck, Sam. Hey, bro. There's nothing wrong with a male cheerleader, okay? For realsies. And the craftsman not reading that too long. I want to have a look at his stuff really quick. I want to see if he has an order for me to go up to Lake Knot, because that's where I'm going right now. He does have one, but it's 46 ki uh, kilos. I don't want to carry one that's 46 kilos. Oh, man, look at my golden leggings. Lady Gaga, eat your heart out. Or Madonna, whichever one of those two you guys like the most. Oh, my road! Look at the road! It got made, man! Other players have definitely contributed. No, this, the road's back. Oh, man, fam. Deliveries are about to get much easier. Look, they're all still knocked out. They're all still just knocked out. Bunch of nerds. A road you rebuilt was used by someone else. Oh, that's awesome. Look at how nice this is. So easy. <laughs> Sam leggings are better than Lady Gaga or Madonna. I can get behind that. Look at that, so nice. I gotta finish the one for right here. What do I need for it? What do I need? I need more, what is that, resin or ceramic? All right, Lake Knot, baby, let's roll, let's do this. Oh, hey, boyos. How you guys doing? Hey. So these are just normal porters, like NPC porters in the game. I think it's pretty cool that they were added to the game and whatnot. Because they literally see you, they wave at you, and then they throw stuff at you. As in good stuff, they give you stuff. And of course, I can't do that yet because it's not officially my vehicle. I wonder if I can turn in stuff... While it's on this vehicle, even though the vehicle is not mine. 
Let's find out. Uh, make delivery requested cargo. Yeah, okay, that's all of it. Let's do this. What are you gonna give me? Welcome, welcome. The hard man said to expect you. See what I mean? Die hard man. Uh -huh. <laughs> You've got the server. Here, let me have a look at it. Perfect condition. Nice. The great deliverer comes through again. The server's in perfect condition. It's a real relief to know all our records are safe. Thank you so much. All right. Are you going to give me a star? Delivering stuff straight to you, broski. Wow, he's giving me a lot of likes. Oh, look, there, there, two of the roads were completed. Nice. Oh yeah. Bruh. So, I've added a reverse trike to the list of supplies you can fabricate. Lake Knot said he was kind enough to provide the blueprints as thanks. I'd tell you all about it, but, uh, didn't you used to have your own? Same deal. Two front wheels, one rear, battery powered. Fitted with an auto charging unit that kicks in when not in use. Requires skill to drive over obstacle strewn terrain, best suited to long flat stretches, yada yada yada. Yada yada. We're working on securing you another vehicle, so you can look forward to that too. I love Mama. She's one of my favorite characters. New interview data acquired Higgs particle. Okay. What are you giving me, bro? Wow, barely nothing. Jeez, the rude. Yeah, just gonna go and skip these next ones. It giving me no likes for that guy. Give me a oh my god Long range baby, I never use the long range one you can't carry cargo on the long range one so there's like no point Master mover baby you have been awarded the title of master mover almost everyone is ready to place their faith in you you have reached miscellaneous grade 50. You will now receive more likes. That's what's up, dog. Thanks, Sam. With that data, we can finally move forward with our plans for the new automated delivery system. I'll tell the boys to start testing the bots right away. Now you'll need to take it to the distro center south of Lake Knot City. Check the delivery terminal whenever you're up for more work. The preppers had some things to say about Fragile. You sure we can trust her? That business with Higgs, thought I told you she hates him with a passion. Enemy of my enemy as far as I'm concerned. Don't take my word for it though. Just ask her and judge for yourself. I'd like it or not, we need her help. Sam, it's fragile. I hear you brought three preppers into the network and delivered everything they needed. That's some good work. As long as we're shooting the shit, you mind telling me what the deal is with you and Higgs? Been hearing stories, huh? I'll tell you all about it, in person. Meet me at the distro center, south of Lake Knot. You're headed there anyway, right? Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Sure. I love Fragile. She great. Uh, recycling. Gotta go look. Alright, nothing to recycle. That's fine. Uh, don't care about none of that. Don't care about you. Not gonna take a that right now. Let's go ahead and rest in the private room. Your work is great. <sighs> so bloody. Good morning. 
morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. Alrighty then. Mules, heroes, or villains? Cool, well, we're gonna go shower. And you've already seen his butt, so I'm skipping. Good. And then that one. There's that routine. So let's go down some monsters. <laughs> you want to see the butt. You can see the butt next time. Let's head... At, wait, no, here. Four. Up here. Terminal! Let's go look at some of this stuff. Uh, The Elder. Why join the UCA? You still out there fighting the good fight, kiddo? I tip my hat to you for that. And for bringing an old Kermit Day... A what is that word? An old Kerma go that word. His medicine. I'm doing a whole lot better for it. Much obliged. So in exchange for signing a contract with Bridges, I get meds and supplies delivered to my doorstep, huh? That's no different from the deal I had with Fragile Express. And while I may not have full use of this network here of yours, I can access the weather data and news I need to make sh to make life easier than before. All that without my having to join the UCA. So what incentive is there to do so? Hey, he's not wrong. Elder is not wrong on that one. Uh, Peter Englert. Uh, humble request for pizza with a smiley face. Yeah, yeah, you want pizza? Fine, I'll do pizza. Heroes or villains? Yeah, not reading that. That's too much. Then Lake Knot. Also, too much. Cool. Data. Go to the tips here. Gotta get rid of them all. BB, you need to calm down over there, okay? Alright, got them all. And under my interviews, I'll, yeah, I'm, yeah, never mind. I'm skipping the interviews for now. Good. Let's leave the room, go see what Mads has for us. If anything. Oh, nothing. Nothing this time. And I'm all better. That's what I'm talking about. Awesome. And, uh, hey guys, that's actually, uh, where I'm gonna call it for tonight. Yep. Pretty successful streaming day. Had a little rough patch there in the middle with my uh, internet deciding to drop all the frames. But it was good for like the past uh, almost two hours now, so that's thumbs up right there, you guys. Hope you all enjoyed the stream going on tonight. If you're watching this later on on YouTube, then uh, go ahead and give me a like. Hook me up with that comment, and if you feel so inclined to, then please hook me up with that subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, we'll uh, go from there. Lots of games coming down the pipeline, so stick around. I'll be streaming and doing Let's Plays. But you guys have yourselves a wonderful day.